Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in the Cyclist Tactics for the third event in the CCPC Challenge. And uh, the first rounds have been uh, pretty exciting already. Some uh, pretty good fights between the contestants. So far my benchmark times have not been beaten but this might very well change in today's run. It is all about one single event one single stage but it is a massive one 248 nodes across rather technical and very challenging terrain in the Ferenian mountains it is one of the prime cycling regions of the game world around Doroyana and uh, home to cycling yes um, well we shall see if I find home in this uh, stage and that it is, it is a tough one. James, Wolfgang, Marco and Dimitri are going on their jolly ways. Uh, should we reduce the AI teams? No, it's kind of fun to see where they end up. But, uh, okay. So, here we go. The Bob kill is ready. And now we talk tactics. This event is a... Oh, 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 we have... We have Vladimir here. <laughs> I know who's going to win. Um, this is a team time trial, though. So Telekom Arhana is going to win. Um, this is a perfectly normal team time trial. Apart from the way too hard terrain for that normally... What it normally is. And team time trials tend to be a little more flat because you don't necessarily have the best of climbers in, in your team. Uh, support crew doesn't want to go all out of a across mountains um, but here it is different here it is different in the cyclist and uh, it counts the normal uh, along the lines of the normal rules for TTTs that means the third rider across the line sets the time for your team and that in turn means that we can sacrifice one rider we can we don't have to and I'm wondering if that is something that we should be planning for on this stage and you know what I think I have a candidate in mind and that would be one of the stronger riders and that is James because James power is not in the mountains it is on the flat and in the technical downhills he has plus one in downhill he has um, what is it, plus two in technical and that means that he will be able to pull pretty well across these um, across this massive downhill section and into the flat because he has plus two in flat so if he can carry us like uh, he can be shielded by Wolfgang and crew um, up to here then take this leg down again shielded up to here then take this whole leg down and being completely empty and wasted and then whatever scraps of energy and power is left in my team can then be used by the the other three riders who have been shielded a bit more to power over this uh, rough very rough uh, mountain that is coming up there super steep so there's no slipstream whatsoever there to grab and then try to somehow make it through this final section up the uh, false flat to the finish I think that could work out uh, we shall see so I guess let's get started and there we are. Let's have a look around. This stage is so damn long that I think even energy will be in short supply at the end. And I believe we need to make sure that uh, we are very efficient overall. Um, it is not so much about the management of the attack points, but um, even more so about the general approach to how speedy you want to be across all the terrain. Um, need to make very efficient moves. That is more of a priority than any other um, challenges so far. And by that I mean make sure to not um, halve any technical sectors. Make sure to always land on the very best nodes that you can. Even if that means moving a little shorter and potentially wasting, in air quotes, um, a little bit of time. I think that would otherwise come back to bite you later on in this when you discover that uh, you will be low on energy and low on attack 
Oh, on top of that. But yeah, ooh, this is this is looking quite tough here in the transition between downhill and flat. Especially nasty because this is split between downhill and flat. This is certainly something for James to tackle. Hmm, one thing we should be uh, thinking about here too is uh, can we make the jump? This is 10 free movement points there. So how many nodes is this? 24. It's a move of 24 to jump over there. Huh. It's not a problem for Wolfgang. So it's a plus 14, basically. A plus 14 if there's no mountain penalty. So for Wolfgang, that is not an issue. Uh, for Marco, that will be fine. For Dimitri, we need to make sure that he still has enough uh, energy left over to <laughs> be able to make that jump. Um, but he does have a plus one in mountain. So uh, the only one who is naturally going to fail at this would be James. Uh, if he's powered out. Um, because he has the negative one in mountain. And that, that will be a tough jump to make. So with all that being said, I think it is time to uh, start out here. And I believe that probably for the first move, uh, we're starting on a false flat here and going into the mountain terrain. It's likely... Ooh. We can't take this one in two moves, this one here, so we split it up in three. So I believe it's going to be jump to there, from there we jump into the fives, and from the fives across. If we can... Uh, uh, hmm. Yeah, that's, that's already a little tricky to plan ahead here. Do we want to go from here to the bottom there? That would take two technical sectors out of the picture in a single move. I think we... Yeah, wh when we get closer, we use the preview tool there to, to try it out. Okay, so um, who's starting out? I think Marco could start out because this is flat and mountain and he has plus one in both. Alright, Marco's at the front. Ooh, they're moving hard into these. Uh, they're trying to jump it in two. I'm, I'm not going to do that. Uh, Marco is leading out. We get two slipstream. That's nice. Uh, get the six movement there. And then jump into the five. And then across. Um, yeah, let's, let's plan ahead a little. So if we jump into the fives. Then do this move. Then we could get to there. And... Ooh. How does this look? A max attack move by James or wherever there would get us to the bottom. That's good. Okay, so this is reachable, this point. And then we can... Ugh. Oh, there's so much technical on this side, though. So maybe we don't even need to jump into there. That could mean that we are fine just jumping to there. But on the other hand, we might be able to... I thought this will, this will kill Slipstream so hard. Jumping over this, with a maximum slipstream we can get of two, you don't really want to go that hard because that costs the team enormous amounts of resources because everyone has to go hard. Instead of investing those resources into one rider going hard and everyone else enjoying slipstream later on. There are not that many places where we can enjoy slipstream. So yeah, that is another problem. But, um, alright, I think... Going to here is a good move still with Marco. And then we can check out where the others are not losing any um, attack points for the next one. And then just jump over there. So, first move to here. That sets us up nicely. And then Wolfgang takes over from here. So, Wolfgang to the front. And everyone else just stays behind. Yeah, look at them. Going hard. Two turns across the crest. <laughs> and look at that. Wolfgang going just energy and everyone else is like, Ah, oh, shit, Wolfgang, slow down. If we're going a little slow with Wolfgang, look, look at him. Like, okay, there's zero slipstream. Do we at any point get any slipstream here? Um, no. No, no, okay, so this is a pure no slipstream move. Um, then I think what we need to do is check out how things are with these moves. So going into a technical sector, of course, sucks. Um, so maybe we shouldn't. 
So let's take this nice and slow. This is a five, so let's split it up equally, like this. Um, just just keep it slow. Basically a max energy move for most of the riders. For this one, I think Wolfgang can just stay up, up front. Uh, otherwise, we would have to change to Dimitri, but there is no slipstream anyway. So uh, moving to there or there doesn't matter. This is way more efficient, so let's do it. And now we're basically a turn behind the AI. Look, they're already down there. How much energy do they have left? These tool new tooltips are nice. They have spent most of their attack already. <laughs> it's not going to go with that well for them. All right, we all move here. Ooh, almost a max energy move there. And now is the time for the first full power move, I believe. Uh, James, you go to the front and try to get us to the bottom of the slope. Yeah, and that works. Oh, Wolfgang. Oh, shit, no. That is a max attack move for Wolfgang. Okay, that's bad. Um, then the question is, is that worth it? If we go there, that is also still very bad. If we go here, everyone is perfectly fine. But on the next move... We still have all this technical bullshit <laughs> to deal with. <laughs> ah, shit. Um, not great. I guess not much of a choice, though. This is... Oh. And we are coming from a technical sector, too. So we can't even really move that hard. Like, if we move there or move here, doesn't make all that much difference. It's another one point of difference, right? Because this is a medium technical sector and this is a rough technical sector yeah and then on this side on the other side you see the minus six for the minus 12 sector that is that's bad that's really bad oh should we take it slow through there i th oh, i think we have to so this is a oh <laughs> this is a it doesn't matter kind of situation get two slipstream there, three slipstream there, but we get one less movement point from there. Um, but we pay one extra energy to get there, so this move is actually better. So one short, it gets us the same distance later on. It costs the same for everyone behind, so it only matters for the rider that is leading out. And that is James, so let's, let's put him there. And now I think it is Dimitri time, isn't it? He needs to get us across this technical sector and up the hill. So if we hover over here, he gets a negative a, a zero there and he gets a plus one in the mountain. And that is better than Wolfgang who gets a minus five and then plus three. And that is also better than uh, Marco who gets a negative three and uh, plus one. So yeah, he's the best rider for the job right there. Okay, let's see how we can make the jump. Yeah, that's pretty comfortable. As you can see, Wolfgang is struggling a little bit, but that that's fine. And Wolfgang is dying if we move one further down, the, which we don't need to. So, yep, and we get two slipstream. That's also nice. So, let's move there. Now, it's James' time. He needs to get us to the other side of this. It is him powering himself out now completely. Um, our goal will be that he has no attack points left towards the end of the flat section here. And basically no energy either. Okay, I think I want to now move in a way that allows us to jump this technical section in one go um, on the next move. If possible, I don't think we are going to reach that far. But we, we can see. Let's see. So, um... If we move here, then then we don't reach. Okay, so uh, that means we can't even reach that technical section if with two moves. Oh, with two moves we can reach it, but not cross it. So that will be will be fine. Uh, we don't want to do this move because it's cost Wolfgang way too much, and that would also only allow us to touch it. So it's it's wasteful. Uh, instead, what we can do is split things up. Make it efficient. That's five slipstream, that's four. So, perfect. Here, we go right there. Only costs one attack point. Dimitri is looking great there. 
um, get fi five slipstream, and on the next move we can make a monster move. We can make an all-out bonkers, bonkers mode all the way down here, because that gives us plus three, plus three, plus three, plus three slipstream for our move, and a maximum of fourteen. And it will be a massive move. We have 14 base movement there. So I think this is the perfect move here. James stays at the front. He's unfortunately going to lose a point of um, energy per turn. It's to be expected. Everyone is getting a little slower. And this is the move where we have proper benefits from having the team. So this is where you want to absolutely hammer it. Look at this! They're not even using maximum energy. For that move, Dimitri is just rolling along. 11 slipstream. 11 there, 11 there, 10. Okay. So this is, this is perfect, basically. Uh, do we want to go all out? Let's see. Yeah. We're not getting to this one. And that would have been a little weird move as a move as well. So could go a little shorter if we wanted to. Like if we move to here. Um, we have a pretty decent move to make to there. And then we get to the foot of the climb right there. Can we do it any faster than this? Well, if the technical sector's been there, a rough technical section, and Wolfgang absolutely hating those, um, I believe it is probably a good choice to... Uh, we are going to move across pretty hard, but going to there then will be fine. Just need to make sure that we get 11 slipstream here. That's super efficient. Don't have to go all out across this section. So let's let's do this move. Should be good. Zero. <laughs> it needs exactly zero. And we still want to keep Cr James Craig up front, I believe, because of the technical sections and him having plus two and flat. Yeah. Man, this should be fine. He's still decently fast. 7-7, seven, seven, plus 1, plus 2, plus 2. So that's all good. Uh, and Dimitri is looking still like a power. So look how much attack he has left. Telekom Marana is approaching the foot of the climb. Let's see if they break apart across it. Okay, now. Wolfgang Krüger, two attack points there. That would be fine. And we can reach with a big move... Without having any technical stuff, we can, and we get a slipstream of maximum seven. Uh, that's enough. That's definitely enough. We are currently a turn behind everyone else. Is this good enough then? Yeah, yeah, I think so. This is oh, this is perfect actually. Uh, this will be four slipstream. This is three, so this is quite efficient. And he has thirteen. Oh, we're not exactly powering him out. He might even make the jump across the hill, but no, I think he's a little too empty for that. One last move, James. With a 7-7 plus 2, you get to the uh, foot of the climb, providing beautiful slipstream for all teammates. And you are the one who's the lowest as well there. That's, that's looking good. One thing to keep in mind is that across this, this hill, um, everyone but Wolfgang will be basically using maximum attack to get across. And, ah, yes. Yes. Let's see. Seven, six. Okay. Yep. Um, we have arrived at the foot of the final climb. That's looking good. So far, very efficient riding. I'm a little worried that uh, the likes of Dimitri will not use all their attack points towards the end. But that is not super, super important in this situation. It is more about being... Oh, look at how low they are getting. Uh, it's more important that everyone is um, making the most out of it, being efficient and stuff. Uh, anyway, so uh, James, you've done your your job. Can he? Can he actually jump over there? Um, let's leave him up front. But we put uh, who are we putting second? I mean, there's no slipstream in this move, so it doesn't does it matter at all? No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, um, Dimitri, yeah, you, you can stay up front, I guess. Although Wolfgang is the better, better bet. There is a zero here, so it is guaranteed zero slipstream. So yeah, Dimitri can uh, can move across, and I think everyone has enough juice to make a a good jump. He has exactly 
Oh, he has a plus 15. No? Plus, is it? Yeah, plus 15. We need a plus 14, as we have calculated right at the start of the race. Um, Wolfgang has a... Ooh, that's a little tight. He has a plus 15. And Dimitri has a... Um, plus 14. Yep. All right. All right. And James has a plus 13. Hmm. Um, yeah, so he's going to get stuck there, right? And where's... Is this... This is enough? Yes? Oh, we... I mean, we can't change it now, <laughs> can we? And here we go. So James, one short. No, too short. Uh-oh. If he's too short, then... Um, I don't know if this is enough. I sure hope it is. I I sure hope it is. So uh, James is, um, this this is James. All right, James is moving here, and then just going into there. That that, that would be good. And then okay, Dimitri. Max attack move. And everyone can follow. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. That was that was calculated right at the edge. Look at that. Whew. There you go. So now we are running proper low on some of those stats. The only one who isn't low on attack is Dimitri. We have a few technical sectors left where we need to watch Wolfgang because he only has four attack points left. These three need to finish together. It is the last rider who counts anyway. So, Wolfgang needs to hang in there. Marco needs to hang in there. Dimitri, now it's your time to shine. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the opposition here. Oh, wow. They are completely devoid of energy, are they? Yeah. Nils Meyer has some attack left, but everyone else... Walter Stein is completely empty. And here we have Telekomachana. Vladimir Vrolov only has some attack left and a sliver of energy. And who is this poor bastard? Oh, man. Yeah, completely out of attack. Um, this looks like we're doing pretty well here co compared to the competition. Um, let's see how far we can move. Is this a... No, this is not a max... Oh, shit. Okay, Wolfgang. That's four attack points there. Are we going to, if we if we move to there we can't cross right no we can't and there's a technical sector in the way so what we're going to do is we have to land there yeah we have to land there that's just one slipstream it's this damn technical section here and then move as far as possible into this and then across oh man okay let's see um marco is still doing well there so it is, it is Wolfgang that it hinges on. And he only has four left. But this is an efficient move because we land on the 12. So at least for the next move we do have a bit more free movement. Here we only have eight. But this is good. Now this would be perfect, but we can't. Oh, yep. This it is. And now James comes across. <laughs> across the hill. Yep. Dimitri stays up front. Um, he has not used up everything. And I... This almost makes me wonder if... Um, if we could have used some more attack from him previously. But Wolfgang has never really spent more attack points than he should... Than he would have anyway. Um, so this wouldn't have helped the situation because... Uh, Wolfgang is the limiting factor in this group of three. Oh, wow. 11.90 from the um, Excel Velo Bikes team. It's big. Uh, so how far can he follow? He can follow to there. Then has an attack point left. There he also has an attack point left. There he has no attack points left. So uh, that, is that correct? Yes. Then he has zero left. So now we need to calculate how that goes with the ratios. What is better? I think, though, that this is a pretty straightforward thing. Because we want to move as far as possible here. 
in this one, get as close to the finish as possible. And then he will, in equal amounts, on the next turn, be slower. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, this should be this should be the right one. Uh, that one. <laughs> okay. There we go. And Dimitri needs to pull, yeah. He has the most uh, juice in him. Uh, yes, he has. Okay. Let's see how far we can pull everyone. There will be some slipstream on this move. So, max move. No, unfortunately not possible. Oh, oh, but he can be pulled pretty far. Yeah, there we go. Um, that's a 12.48 as the finish time. James coming in close to the finish, down into the valley. It's completely empty. And across the line in 13.43. Third place in the team time trial. And we get a time, well, as we've already said. Oh, but here it's looking a little different. And this is a 12.50, supposedly. Congratulations! We have submitted the results. This is it. Well, that was a pretty good run. I think... Uh, could, could, we, could it have been faster? Maybe. Maybe we could have done some smarter move here or there that would have saved um, Wolfgang an attack point or so. And which then could have been used later to get a lower time in the, this ending move. But we did very well in this jump across this big bastard hill towards the end. Uh, everyone getting over in one turn. That's vitally important. And then well, the rest is just grinding from uh, Dimitri, who still had plenty of attack points left over. All right. Um, I hope you did did well in this event as well, so that it's a tight competition. Lots depends on the um, actual finish time this time around, not so much the ranking. Um, uh, well, to equal amounts almost. And yeah, it should be good. Um, let me know how it went. All right. Hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.